So either you like Batman or you don't like Batman. It's all up to you. You don't have to buy every Batman that you see. You don't. See, I skipped that on the blue one right there. I made sure when I missed that release, I was happy that I missed the release because sometimes fresh out the factory means problems. And remember when that figure came out, everybody was having problems with the arm sockets and whatever. The second release came out, mine didn't have one problem. Certain figures I have to have as soon as it comes out. Translucent. Ice edition. This, I could have did without, but I wouldn't because it's the Nightfall Batman body, even though it says Batmanga, which I know nothing about. Let's open it up. Here's your boy Batmanga out of the package, restricted from them stupid restriction ties. He is free, free at last. Oh, he is free at last. As you see, we still got these damn plastic stands. I got a whole bag of them, literally a bag of them. And if there's anybody who wants them, I will be selling them on Macari, cause I ain't giving nothing away for free. Unless it's an action figure where I'm feeling good. We got the hockey buck as my wife is um, hitting me up. We have the oversized Batarang. I mean, you talk about oversized. I think this is, oh, brutal. We have the grapple with the rope. Beautiful stuff. We have this, I don't know, baton thing. I literally don't know what this is. I didn't read Batmanga. I damn sure don't know what the hell this is. I don't know if this is, um, what the hell is this? What is this, y'all? Tell me what that is in the comment section. And he comes with extra hands, because he's going to need them. Extra hands. Let's not go over his articulation, because we've been there and done that. It's the same damn Nightfall Batman body buck. Don't care about these. At all. Look at the front. Oh, I like that glossiness. Look at that. Look at that chrome shine. Ooh, that's nice. This is a nice card. Like I said, with these cards, I do put them in the binder. But I put an extra little sleeve on them, and then put them inside the binder. Let's do some comparisons, because we are not doing the articulation, like I said. Here we have Manga Batman with, using the Nightfall Body Buck with Catman using the Nightfall Body Buck and Bullseye Batman. That all white is so beautiful, ain't it? That is so beautiful. Remember, that was a McFarlane Toy Store exclusive. McFarlane Toy Store exclusive, easier for me to say. Here is Manga Batman as Carrie Kelly makes an appearance. <laughs> Here is Manga Batman standing next to my most expensive Robin, uh, Red Hood, woof, almost, oh, oh man, Red Hood, and your boy, the Punisher, custom Punisher. Thanks All Clowns Go to Heaven for that inspirational idea. Yeah, I'm still calling you All Clowns Go to Heaven. Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two other McFarlane offerings. We have The Walking Dead's Negan, who knows how to use a bat. And we have your boy Lightyear, Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear from the Disney multiverse, gamerverse, whatever verse. Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two customs I did. I have a Catwoman who I used from the movie The Batman. I turned into Killer, uh, Killer Frost from the Mortal Kombat video games. And we have my version of Red Hood that I made last year using one of the Jokers from the three Jokers. And I used a Blight head a spare blight head because i had two blights i had two different versions of blight and i had this through a red red cape on them i had tagged them and i know they saw it i know they saw that formula right here we have manga batman using the nightfall batman body standing in between two frosty bastards we have mcfarlane's failed debunked mortal kombat line which should have went so much further he could have made so many more figures out of this that line was destined to be great. $20 Mortal Kombat figures. And he failed it. He just threw it out the window. And here we have Frostbite Edition Rebirth Batman. Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two NECA TMNT Ninja Turtles from the movie. And these are the original versions, not the remakes. We have Raphael and Donatello. What you doing with that stick, boy? Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two fine women with some nice thighs. We have Starfire and her evil sister, Blackfire. Which one would you rather have? 
Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two things that you use for your creations. We have a bottle of Mod Posh Gloss, 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 <laughs> and we have pure acetone to get off that paint. Here we have Manga Batman standing in between two customized, repainted, fully repainted Earth 2 Supermen. We have the regular Superman and we have this one, Zoranel Superman. Awesome stuff. So glad to make a custom of that. Zoranel? No. Whatever. And crazy enough, I'm saying six inch figures, but these look like they are exactly seven inches because they are standing right up to this Batman. So let me find out AEW figures are standing right up to the McFarlane DC Multiverse. We have Matt and Nick Jackson cosplaying as Ken and Ryu. Yes, they are tall. And finally, with the comparisons, we have two mock Street Fighter II Ultra, the Final Challengers action figures from Jada Toys, who was killing it with this line. We have M. Bison and Dalsim. Yoga Flame. All in all, this figure is a great figure to have. If you are a Nightfall Batman collection guy or girl, or if you just like Batman in general, if you'd like to collect the Batman. I'm a Batman completionist. I'm going to have all the Batman that I can get my hands on. I do like this figure. I give this figure mm, 7, out of 7, 7 out of 10, you know, for the reuse. But it's all good. It's a great figure. I'm not going to say don't buy it. I will say if you see it on your shelves, pick it up. Thanks for watching. Holla at your boy, y'all. More to come.